Yeah. Um, <laughs> again, you asked me things like, I have no idea. So I could see if I can get information about it. But um, right. well, the answer is be gentle and loving with yourself and do your best to do good things to be of service. I mean, first to yourself, you have to be good to yourself first, take care of yourself first, and then, you know, then your family and then your community and that kind of thing and doing good things. Understand that everything that you're going through, and I'm saying this, it's easy to look at your life and say this, and it's like, oh yeah, I need to remember that too. I have a teenage daughter, she's a great kid, and she's a teenager. And it's, you know, there's times that it's a bit of a struggle, and like I said, sometimes I get through a test and I'm thinking, really, like, you know, how much would I've had to mess up to not get through it? And because sometimes it's hard, and that part is important. Um, so it's kind of like the answer to the question is in the highest levels. So there are infinite number of levels, but we don't need to look at it that way. So we have the astral, causal, mental, etheric levels, and those are kind of they're obviously invisible, but they're kind of very similar to, well, they're more, they're not the highest spiritual levels. And above that is a soul level. In the soul level, there it is like there's almost hardly anything there. It, when I connect into there, the first thing I do is see like a bluish purplish light and feel this thing kind of drawing me up. But in there, like, and in the astral and causal level, this is similar, but this is a little different. We can use our creative imagination to create these majestic, wonderful places for us. So we have a way to go to those levels where our human part can actually do it. And then you go there and it just like, you know, just imagine, you know, I have a place, there's a lake and all this cool stuff. It could be in a city, it could be on the beach, it could be in the woods just that place and you connect to that high place and then you start to feel the spiritual energy come inside of you and that's what we're talking about and that's the way to go into those more positive things that you're asking about. The, the thing of the NDEs is people connect into the spirit and you can do that without having a near-death experience. So it, there's kind of two parts to it. The part of actually for me, getting my head banged open, I don't ever want to do that again. And But that part of connecting into the spirit and learning how to do that, and you can do that. So you don't need to have an NDE. Um, it does help to have teachers. That's I can't impress that enough, but, you know, do... On my YouTube channel, I have the meditation, I have other exercise to do that will definitely help, and... Um, there is a whole lot of part of realizing some of it almost like, yeah, I'm just going to connect to that high place. Like, don't worry about the who's, what's, where's, and why's. You just do it. So everyone is spiritual, whether they're aware of it or not. And so instead of thinking, oh, how do I do this? It's kind of like you just do it. But we have to work with our mind and stuff to let us just do it. But there's part of it. So that person now is connecting into that energy a lot. And the reason hearing NDEs is so good is because they're connecting into these very high levels. Um, you know, I even say, it's like I just wasn't listening. I wasn't seeing the signs. And then you have an NDE, it's like there's no denying it because your body's not there in the way. So, um, you know, if you're feeling that as, yes, I'd like to be in that place, obviously you don't want to be in the place where your body's dying but you want to be in that place that the spirit is and do things to do that. And it takes practice and work. It, it's sort of like working out your muscles. You know, you got to go to the gym if you want to have strong muscles. If you want to strengthen your spiritual abilities, you meditate. If you look at that basic soul meditation and learn how to do it, even if you do it just a couple of minutes per day, it can help a lot.